Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics HQ. This is Professor Sandeep, your tutor for the class 12th lecture series. Continuing with the lecture series of solving MCQs and sums of class 12 physics, today we will be covering the textbook unsolved sums of chapter 10 magnetic fields due to electric current. This is the third part of sum solving. We have already covered the MCQs and two parts of sum solving of this chapter. If you have not seen it yet, please check it out by clicking on the top right eye icon. So let us start with the first sum. A circular coil of wire is made up of 100 turns, each of radius 8 cm. If a current of 0.4 ampere passes through it, what will be the magnetic field at the center of the coil? So this is the simple formula. B is equal to mu naught n into i divided by twice the radius. Mu naught is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7. N is number of turns which is 100 over here. Current the y 0.4 divided by 2 into the radius which is 8 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. Now you can see here 2.2 is 0.4 This will 4 2 is 8 and this 2 into 0.1 times will be 0.2 So in the numerator there is only pi but the powers of 10 hai. pi is 3.142 and powers of 10 up simplify karoge to minus 4 a jayega. so this is the magnetic field in tesla next for proton accelerator a cyclotron is used in which a magnetic field of 1.4 weber per meter square is applied find the time period for reversing the electric field between the two d's now here what happens in cyclotron mein basically two d shaped sections hote hain. और इनके बीच में एसी वोल्टेज सप्लाई किया जाता है यानी एक पॉजिटिवली चार्ज होगा तो दूसरा नेगेटिवली चार्ज होगा इफ यू वांट कि इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड रिवर्स हो जाए यानी ये प्लस से ये माइनस हो जाए और ये माइनस से ये प्लस हो जाए देन द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड ओवर हियर विल बी इक्वल टू द हाफ ऑफ द टाइम पीरियड टोटल टाइम पीरियड में क्या होता है ये प्लस से माइनस और माइनस से वापस से प्लस हो जाता है या अगर एक प्रोटॉन यहां पे है तो ये इस बाजू जाएगा और यहां से रिटर्न आ जाएगा तो एक साइकिल कंप्लीट होता है बट यहां पे हम क्या कर रहे हैं खाली इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड को रिवर्स कर रहे हैं तो अगर प्रोटॉन यहां नेगेटिव प्लेट पे है तो वो कहां पे चला जाएगा इस बाजू चला जाएगा बिकॉज़ आपने रिवर्स करके अब दूसरे वाले प्लेट को नेगेटिव कर दिया सो कैपिटल टी का फार्मूला इज 2 पाई m बाय क्यू बी हमें चाहिए स्मॉल टी व्हिच इज हाफ ऑफ इट सो स्मॉल टी विल बी इक्वल टू pi m by q b value put कर देते pi is 3.142 m over here is mass of proton which is 1.67 into 10 raise to minus 27 divided by the charge is 1.6 into 10 raise to minus 19 into the magnetic field which is 1.4 यह आप log से solve कर लेंगे तो यह आपको आ जाएगा 2.342 into 10 raise to minus 8 second अगला सम देख लेते हैं। A moving coil galvanometer has been fitted with a rectangular coil having 50 turns and dimension 5 cm by 3 cm। यानी area कितना हो जाएगा? 15 cm square। या आप इसको 15 into 10 raise to minus 4 meter square लिख सकते हैं। The radial magnetic field in which the coil is suspended is 0.05 Weber per meter square. The torsional constant of the spring is 1.5 into 10 raise to minus 9. This is capital C ki value. Hai. Obtain the current required to be passed through the galvanometer so as to produce a deflection of 30. This simple sa formula hai. I is equal to C theta by N A B. C ka value diya hua hai 1.5 into 10 raise to minus 9. Theta is given as 30 divided by number of turns which is 50 area is 15 into 10 raise to minus 4 into magnetic field is 0.05 now you jayega 15 2 is 30 ye aapko a jayega 1.2 into 10 raise to minus 5 ampere next hum dekh lete a solenoid of length pi meter and 5 centimeter in diameter has a winding of 1000 turns and carries a current of 5 ampere Calculate the magnetic field at its center along the axis. So, this is simple sa formula B is equal to mu0 small n into i. Now, small n is total number of 
turns divided by the total length. Mu0 is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7. Total number of turns is given as 1000. Length is given as pi or current diya hua 5 ampere. So this pi will be cancelled by 4 pi is 20. So we will have magnetic field after simplification 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 tesla. Next we will see. A toroid of narrow radius of 10 cm has 1000 turns of wire. The magnetic field of 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 tesla along its axis. How much current is required to be passed through the wire? So here magnetic field is given by mu0 ni divided by 2 pi r. So current ka formula ho jayega b into 2 pi r divided by mu0 into n. B diya hua hai 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 into 2 pi. Radius is 10 centimeter which is 0.1 meter divided by 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 into number of turns is 1000. Ye 2 za ho jayega when we'll simplify this ye finally a jayega 25 ampere as the current. Lastly in a cyclotron protons are to be accelerated Radius of its D is 60 cm and its oscillator frequency is 10 MHz. What will be the kinetic energy of the proton thus accelerated? Mass diya hua hai, charge ka value diya hua hai. Now we know that kinetic energy is given by the formula half mv square. So this is half m. Velocity ke jage pe we can write r omega. To yo jayega half into m into r ka square into omega ke jage pe we can write 2 pi n to uska square ho jayega 4 pi square into n square so this is the formula for kinetic energy ye 2 2 za ho jayega let us put the values mass is 1.67 into 10 raised to minus 27 radius is given as 60 centimeter which is 0.6 meter uska square lena hai into 2 times pi ka square is 3.142 ka square into the frequency ka square frequency is 10 megahertz mega is 10 raised to 6 so 10 raised to 7 ho jayega uska square lena now when you simplify this by using log ye aapko value a jayega 11.87 into 10 raised to minus 13 joule you can convert this into electron volt by dividing it by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 so finally we will have the answer as 7.419 into 10 raised to 6 which is mega electron volt as the kinetic energy. Hope you all understood this. Thank you for your time. If you are finding this lecture series useful then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates. Based on your feedbacks and suggestions we will be making videos under our 5 minutes lecture series for class 12. So please feel free to let us know the topics you want us to cover. See you all in the next class. This is Professor Sandeep from Physics HQ signing off.